back to artists on artists on artists on artists this week for your consideration. If you're an award show voter, you might be asked to consider some shows. But who are the people who are asking you to consider them? Uh, we know some people who might be helping out with that. Certain PR teams and merch companies come together to create specific types of swag, parentheses, stuff we all get, which goes around all over the industry. Celebrities receive free things with different TV shows and movies and books, etc., written across them, whether they be hats, shirts, water bottles, and sometimes bicycles. This episode, we brought around one team around a table to talk insider of the FYC packages. So get ready to get those goodies and go to those events. Let's listen in. Okay, did you guys see this email we just got? Yeah, I got it. What? I'm absolutely yeah. obsessed yeah. with it. I'm obsessed what? with this email. Yes. I'm absolutely obsessed with this email. This There's email a is new crazy. Marvel movie. Okay, but well, we'll we'll address the listeners in a second. But there's a new Marvel movie about a dog, and it's called Dog Man, and they are making an Oscar push, and they want us to handle it. So Airplane moment, airplane moment. That's what we call airplane moment is where you blue skies it. So we're all getting in the airplane, and let's blue skies this situation. Let's right blue now. skies this. Anything is possible. Any type of FYC, any type of this, anything, anything is possible. So details. Pixar movie dog, right? Uh, Marvel movie dog. Marvel movie dog. So Fuck this is me. New. Take a shot. This is new. Fuck you. Take a shot. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. He's not taking a shot. Marvel movie. Unless it's Friday. Marvel movie dog. And this is not related to Dog Man from the writer of Captain Underpants, right? This is a completely. No. This is Marvel movies Dog Man. No, this is Marvel has run out and they're doing Dog Man. Okay, great. So if it is the writer from Captain Underpants, okay. I was thinking yeah. we could give everybody underpants and maybe everybody gets underpants. Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Okay. That's good. Dog Man underpants. Oh, oh our, our charcuterie board got here. Thank you so much. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You okay. So oh, much. what about oh charcuterie board? I mean, Dog Man charcuterie board. Oh my god. Yeah, sausage in the shape of a dog. That's yeah, fantastic. That's okay, yeah. so that was a constellation moment that we that we call where we use a real moment. That that what happened was that was like a moment in the stars where yeah. our charcuterie board that we just ordered at this little podcast studio. We postmated it here. John and Vinny's podcast studio. Yeah, John and yeah, Vinny's yeah, podcast studio. Yeah. They have it right. Be, we're right next to where they make all the yeah, pasta. I'm literally and obsessed with this place. I'm literally obsessed with this place. We love. So what John happened Vinny's. was we were blue skying that moment, and then something happened in real time, and we took inspiration from that moment. And I also want to take her inspiration from a moment which is happening to me right now, which is I'm seeing a golden retriever outside. So I think we take over animal hospitals and pet clinics. That's a great idea. Yeah. And That's really we good. turn your dog into a superhero. We give them a little cape. Wait, and I'm we have dying a little, for that. We have a little photo okay, shoot. Okay, ready, ready. Instead of kill shelters, we'll change a kill shelter, get all the dogs from a kill shelter, and hand them out at an event. <laughs> that is actually, yes. like, imagine so, this. Yes. If, the swag, if the swag is yes. a foster dog. If the swag is a dog. Is a dog. The swag is a dog. The swag is a dog. I can call my the girl at the Pasadena Humane Society. They're like really overstuffed right now. Yeah. So I'll see they're what they have. They're overstuffed with fluff. They're overstuffed with dogs. Like uh, they're overstuffed with dogs. They have too many dogs right now. Uh, uh, I'm so dead. I, she'll uh, be all over this. She'll love this. That's oh my great. Gosh. Okay, so that was so that's what we call a cl crystal clear Lucy in the sky with diamonds moment. <laughs> we see a crystal clear diamond moment, and it's called Lucy, and we get it, and we pinpoint it, and it all it's like all the brains are connected like they're on LSD, and we feel it. So we are gonna give dogs away at this event. I'm literally doing backflips. This is so awesome. I can feel the earth shaking beneath my feet, and I think I can see through time. It feels this like the so big one. Successful. It feels like the big one is hit, and the big one is dog. Hi guys. Hi little creators. Hi, little entrepreneurs. Hi, little CEOs. We are, uh, I don't know who's listening right now, but I just i just feel like a cool moment in time that a bunch of people are listening and that can hear, like, what's happening. Like, mm -hmm. I feel. We're literally in love with you if you're listening. Like, we're, we're literally, literally, in love we're literally with you. obsessed and we cannot wait to tell you all about what yeah. we do. Yeah. We were honored that people want to know what we do because it's such a specific part of the industry, right? Award shows come around and we have to do marketing for these movies that are making award show pushes um hi and little ones what did you say i just keep saying hi little ones <laughs> so like, hi little ones it's so funny like literally like our industry like what we do it's almost like a hollywood riddle do you know what <laughs> yes. i mean like the hollywood riddle yeah the this, hollywood sorry, notes. riddle underwear charcuterie underwear charcuterie Listen, with a w so we're like a hollywood riddle like it's literally like if you were to ask somebody 
what is something you don't know exists, but you'll miss it if it's gone? And that's exactly. swag us. bags. That's us. That's swag people bags. that send you free things with names of TV shows and movies and all sorts of shit on it. It's stuff that, that literally makes this industry go around mm -hmm. because we help you get your awards. And also the swag bag has changed so much because now it's a swag event. You know, we have right. to put on something that people yeah. go, holy crap. It's Sean. I just got... I just got gassed by a lady who looks like she's and in I the was, 1950s. Because you're probably exactly. wondering, how do you four have like a full time job, make a full time living, just based off of swag bags? And if We're you're asking that, full, that looks naive, by the way. Yeah, yeah. First of all, yeah. first of all, I'm obsessed with you, but it also looks naive. Yeah. And I can feel those two feelings at the same time. And but, that's one of the biggest misconceptions about our industry, I think. Yeah, that, I think that, that you can think that you can think that we don't that we can't be busy all the time mm -hmm. doing all those things. Obsessed with you, it looks naive, but also we're covering so many shows for so many different studios at the same time. Yeah. So you guys get what we are. My name is OKE. I am a VP here at Hand and Fist uh, Productions. Uh, uh, Entertainment Solutions. Hand and uh, Oh, yeah, because so we don't. Okay, we don't produce. That's yeah, like a no. Yeah. It's, a, no it's a misnomer. We don't yeah. produce. We but create. I call it productions because every time it feels like we're doing a production. It exactly, Obsessed it feels with like a production. Too, I'm obsessed right. with Obsessed that. With that feeling. I want to say really quickly. I want to like hammer this down. We create experiences, right? Yes. An event, a whatever, a yeah. party. That's all an antiquated term. We create mm -hmm. experiences yeah. exactly. yes. that yes. get people out exactly. the boat. Exactly, yes. exactly, exactly. I said events <laughs> earlier because I knew you guys wouldn't understand what an experience is. You guys probably do, like, your mom gets sick. That's an experience. But we're going for something different. It's a okay, different e, meaning of it experience. Talk, okay, he's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> I kind and of I'm the rough one. You guys that. better get ready for the next couple, uh, uh, like, an hour because I'll be pitching some really rough around the edges things. I'm kind of the bad boy, the dark we horse. We love that. We call you the front the door because you're the one usually start the idea we never end with it no right? because but yeah. i'll have to say something to get you guys in the right direction so yeah. i'll exactly. say something dark and I'll that's say why you sit mean. at the front of the table and we sit on the other side exactly. i actually literally yeah. stalk that like that you do that like i'm yeah. obsessed with it i mean oke came up with the idea that that for holly uh, uh for harry potter and sorcerer of stone that we send out spells uh-huh yeah. So yeah. what it started off was I mean I that's, that was a I rough said, idea. That yeah. We went well, with. my idea started. I was like, well, what if we just chop off heads and send them live heads? And, and that's you guys just like said, wow, that's actually edges. crazy. It's sending rough, them something rough. like crazy like that. Well, because we're obsessed with the ev emotion of what that is, mm -hmm. and like in a way, we are literally doing that, but without the actual chopping off of heads. Mm -hmm. But that was exactly. like so early in the company's career. So that was, was like such a fun event. That was before FYC. We sent about a bunch of spells, and then if you got the Avogadro spell, you. <laughs> something bad would happen to you. Like, yeah. you, you couldn't go see the movies. No, it was really But, like, really in an early. experience, mm -hmm. in an experiential way, and something bad was, would happen to you yeah. in a in a way that would make you consider the show and consider, like, I actually think I want to vote for Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. No, for yes. sure. It was yeah, so exactly. early in, in the industry. So my name is OKE. I'm the VP, one yeah. of the main VPs here. What about you guys? Um, Yeah, my name is Fitz. I'm in charge of merchant food, so I handle a lot of the stuff where if it's shirts, hats, and then um, edible items. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm in charge of that, so I'm mobile mobilizing and I'm always meeting new vendors I'm always meeting new people who can make our merch and I'm always meeting new designers and I'm usually overseeing those two things to go if, through guys if you want to know the best pop-ups in LA you gotta message fits this to guy me. knows every good food pop-up happening I, I'll send you my Google map like I have a Google map saved of like every single pop-up and it's constantly changing yeah. so I, I love it I'm, I'm usually out every night of the week I'm out somewhere else yeah. it's like really I think different. Fitz showed me Tatsu Ramen the best restaurant I've ever been to in my I showed you life. Tatsu, absolutely. Tatsu is amazing. It's the best it's restaurant I've ever been to in my entire life. I throw up when I don't think about it. Literally, yeah. that's so exactly the feeling I have. It's You have to constantly think and about it. And you showed me that up. really dinky coffee shop, Alfred's, right? I showed you Alfred's coffee back. <laughs> this was back when they only had, I think, 30 or 40 locations. So <laughs> yeah, really got in an hole in the spot. wall, pink. You yeah, showed exactly. me Chal California Chicken Cafe, which yeah. blew my mind. Blew how it yeah. off the wall. I know a lot of the really big stuff. And what's crazy is, so this is the stuff that you guys love that I've shown you. Most everyone knows about it. These are the most common things yeah. in LA. Well, you obsessed me with Milk Bar. Oh yeah, I'm you glad. I, I'm glad I obsessed, obsessed you with that. You my heart. obsessed me with that. I'm also obsessed. I'm in obsessed the with way your obsession. That I, I also like 
thinking about not thinking about Milk Bar makes yeah. me anxious. Yeah, I think you yes. might have obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> I think I do, and I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you're always not thinking about Milk Bar, and then you're obsessed with that anxiety, but yeah. then when you're not eating Tatsu, you're barfing. My I mean, you're <laughs> sick in the head. <laughs> you're so sick and gross. My mind is a jungle gym experience, and I think that is what leads me to be so good at my job. Yes, yes. queen. Is... Ba-down, ba-down, so, ba-down, ba-down, ba-down. My name is DHL. And I <laughs> run um, experiences and happenings and occurrences. Yeah. So I run um, anything that My people My favorite can... is when you run an occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> I love to run an occurrence. It's yeah. crazy. I love, to, um, I love to bring people in to something that can happen to them. Because a lot of our, our, our events are things that you don't know are going to happen. They're yeah. surprises. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. So I, I'm thinking really outside the box where it's like, okay, so um, 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 uh, Silence of the Dogs. Obsessed. Wants to win an Oscar, right? right Obsessed. Right. So we take over. There's a lot of dog movies coming out. Just really There's quick. a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is Dog Man. There's Silence of the Dogs. Continue. Sorry. It, it's so Jamie sorry. Fox I have a one track mind. We yeah. did Clifford, so everyone comes to us. Yeah. So <laughs> we take over the uh, San Diego Zoo. Right. Yeah. And we put every animal in a dog costume. Yeah. And we, uh, and we tell them to be quiet. Yeah. Theoretically obsessed with that. Um, uh, practically having struggles. Yeah. I'm struggle but busting. I, but I'm struggle busting hard on and that. And that's okay because and both the movie things is, can exist at the same the time. The movie exactly. is gone. The movie is gone now. The movie's gone now, so yeah. we don't have to. And I also, I and we can't I tell some... you why it's gone. And we can't tell you why it's gone. <laughs> But it's gone. The and movie's I, gone. And I and I and I reach out to influencers quite a bit. We we, I talk to. Influ- we can't find it. We can't find so any correspondence so, about it. It's well, the gone. thing gone. is, they started reaching out about Silence of the Dogs Oscar push gone. movie, and then all of a sudden, the email correspondence stopped, and they said, "We don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> because gone. what I'm realizing is the movie, um, and that's why this experiment failed, is because the movie is actually called Power of the Dog. <laughs> wow. And that's what's so tough is when you get yeah. the name wrong, because this is all about giving a name to others to make sure people know the name of the right. movie, and yes. that's kind of. Oh, we're here for it. And that was a little snafu, too, because Power of the Dog, in fact, is based on a Bible verse, and it actually has no dogs in it at all. Mm -hmm. So so, getting a bunch of zoo animals in dog costs. And that's not on you, DHL. That's not on you, Yeah, that's not on you, DHL. And that's what's so hard for me, and that's what's so, and I'm so sorry about that. Look, the thing about me is I'm always trying to get it right. And I'm obsessed with your effort. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I started here as an intern. And I'm still breaking in. And as you can see, I'm always thinking about Tatsu. I'm always thinking about Milk Bar. I'm really always thinking about so many things that a lot of the time things get jumbled for me. No, or you're fine. thinking about not thinking about them and the way they physiologically have an effect on your body. My mind is a puzzle. But if you catch me at the right way when I'm providing little pieces of information yes. that yeah. you guys can take, yes. then I think we're golden. Like, as I, your biffle, your mind is a puzzle and your tummy is a prison. And at Entertainment <laughs> Solutions, like a big thing we talk about is there's a certain time of day and it comes differently every single day. And we feel out the vibe, but it's cancel clock where we just go, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I, can't. I, can't. I, can't. I can't. I can't. And when it hits cancel clock, none of us can. And it's like, I can't. No, I, I just can't. Like, I literally can't. And that's like, when I we'll can. go get a sweet treat or something. <laughs> like, it's just like we all have our different methods. That's what we, ooh, milk bar. I go miso soup. That's my I can't meal. <laughs> that's your I can't meal. Miso soup. <laughs> Everyone go around to their I can't meal. Uh, mine's Brussels sprouts. Yes. From lemonade. Steamed Brussels sprouts from lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Smell revolting. <laughs> I'm fits. What can they I say? I have an interesting the beginning palate. Of the sweet day. Well, my palate is like very interesting. Like my I can't sweet treat is miso soup. Yours is steamed Brussels sprouts from lemonade. Stink up the office. What about you? My I can't is cashews. Yeah. It's like, okay, oh I can't yeah. anymore. And you'll, and you'll get them in the nut. So I you'll can't. spend <laughs> minutes trying to crack a nut. You know because what I need is something in the nut. to do with my hands. So yes. I need to crack it like a squirrel or like an ancient literally. sort of mammal. I literally can't. Mine are those like, ice age. Mine are those little milk cartons that are just waters. And this is such a good segue into to your name. And this is so good. <laughs> you have to know my I can't meal before you know my name. What's <laughs> up, guys? I literally, we're not even at an I can't hour and we're talking about not I even. can't meals. I no, can't but it's, it's, it's ticking it's, toward it's ticking, it close it. I'll tell you so what I cannot close. right now, which is a different type of day. It's a different, that's more oh excited. <laughs> guys, I literally can't. Hi, guys. I'm Joshira. Um, <laughs> Joshira. 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 I'm Joshira. Um, 
I deal with all things packaging. I've just been working in packaging since I was a little kid. Um, love packaging. Um, she, she's a UPS girly. I'm a UPS girly. Uh, I've been working in packaging for a long time. But you're crazy too because like the packaging game has involved, evolved so much because when you started, it was just sending something in a UPS box. And now it's sending a box within a box within a box. No, packaging of a UPS is, box. yeah. And thank God the girlies took over in packaging because yeah. it's, it's yeah. a huge thing. And because boxes didn't used to look like Ted Lasso and now they look like Ted Lasso. They literally look like Ted Lasso. I'm literally breathless for the work you do. No, like, thank you crazy. so much. And you guys poached me from Fabbit Fun, and thank God I'm out of that yeah. toxic, toxic, toxic oh, workplace. You, the, oh the stories God. you've told us. Can you tell? Like, I don't want to like get you like uh, in trouble, but could you tell us just like one, like just like one? Yeah, no, for sure. I'll tell you that they work in the most toxic environment I've ever been in in my entire life. Once they trapped me in a pool, and they Nor. told me they trapped me in a pool. They trapped me in a pool, <laughs> and they. they I love when you go Australian. It's so funny. No, it's so funny. It's so Nor. funny. I feel like you do that every time you get hungry <laughs> nar okay um okay yeah this story about you pool. trapping them because it, it sounded crazy because like you were in the pool and then they all got out and stood on the sides and wherever you moved they you wouldn't could, let me out they wouldn't let you they'd it's keep like pushing you back fun. in they get me yeah they, it, it was so not fun it's like giving cousins and i hate it it's giving cousins it's yeah. giving cousins and it's giving bored 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 stupid girls yeah uh, and they trapped me in the pool. They wouldn't let me out. Granted, we were on a Palm Springs trip, and it was like kind of like red light, green light game. Um, and granted, like but it, they it should was know. like kind of like red light, green light. And granted, I was that like, is good. We should use that. Granted, yeah. I was drunk. Red as, light, green light. Yeah. That's like giving something for that you. That is Go really ahead. funny. Granted, it, we were playing a game, and I was drunk as fuck, and I said, "Don't let me out of the pool." Um, but they okay. trapped me in the pool. That's still so toxic. If you if girls listen to you, that's toxic. They shouldn't take your word for value. No, it was so messed up. I don't remember one wink of it. It was blacked out in my head but it was so messed up we don't go to palm springs like we never would like the farthest we go like we go on group trips to palms wherever that is like and we hang out there palms is great the coffee shop in burbank for the the, restaurant the the neighborhood Palms neighborhood neighborhood right right between culver city and brentwood i love palms we're the people who go to palms we love love palms i love palms but anyway i really want to shout out this team i really quickly i just like publicly i don't know maybe this is like a little email but i love this team so much just because i've been going through a breakup Oh, no. oh um, yeah. And this team. And has... can I just say, like, I'm sorry. I cannot believe that I even have to say these words about him because thinking about him makes me think, oh my God, this is time I could be spending thinking about Milk Bar. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. He's... And fuck him. Fuck him. Can we just say that? Because, like, like yeah. it's when I see his face, it's can o'clock all the time. It's like, I literally cannot. No. Like, I yeah. can't. I cannot. Like, there's and no I way know, that I could. And I, I want to talk about the business and I want to talk about packaging and I want to talk about, like, the way we packaged Ted Lasso and stuff. But I also just want to say that this team has held me in the darkest of times. Be- yeah. Because, like, I, there were times when, like, because I know, like, Ryan was being trash to you. Yeah. And so you were the one who made all the screeners weigh uh, 10 pounds in the way yeah. that they did this past yeah. year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think what was so cool is it came around reward season. And, like, it's so weird how the universe works that it way. Did, it came around reward season, right? It was reward season and award season, which was, is, we'll get into that, right. of like the well, minutia. You, one of them is you entertainment. You get rewards for, right. uh, for awards. For, right. yeah. One of them is like the entertainment industry. The other one is hotels. Hotels, yeah. Rewards. And we, yeah, we do it's, both. It's yeah, yeah. Marriott rewards. And yeah, we'll yeah. explain that to the people who don't understand anything about this industry. Yeah. But it came about both seasons and I, and including in the office, I buried myself in the work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we had just gotten the deal to do the Yellow Jackets FYC. Oh my box. gosh. Oh my where gosh. we crashed oh that plane gosh. out of the sky. And that's when that I. That was crazy. And that's when I had that we crashed that plane out of the sky <laughs> and it was the plane was and the influencers that i were talking to because a lot of them were scared to get on the plane it yeah. was crazy but eventually we found people yeah. who were like parkour um people who were lesbians um people who were like like people lesbians. who could really escape from a crashing plane <laughs> <Because> <laughs> This wasn't to say anything about sh- uh, about lesbians' ability to uh, crash play. This is because the show is lesbians, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Partially. It, it sometimes. has like two. Yeah. Partially, Partially sometimes. Partially sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get confused like when we, like where we It's a we little bit lesbian, at. mostly cannibal. Like that's like. That's yeah. And, I could, and that's yeah. why we got those food guys. And that's why we got the food guys. Yeah. So we yeah. got, we got oh every my part God. of Yellow Jacket. It was so fun. We got that guy who did the epic meal time in 2010. Yeah. He like yeah. crushed. Yeah. yeah we got and Adam. this was at the same time when you guys were doing, when you guys were crashing that plane for fun i was trying to send the screeners and i was on the phone with a bee guy yes right yes right to see if the bees could carry the screeners yes and i was trying to fly screeners via bees yes yeah and they and 
I want to say the bees did like a pretty good job for a while. Like they couldn't really go past like they could get it from Century City to um uh, uh Sherman <laughs> to Beverly Oaks. Wood. Yeah. yeah, Beverly Wood is in between Beverly Hills and Brentwood. But they got kind of distracted by the smell of the hills. Like there were a lot of flowers on and it, and that's why they were toxic was, like, for me. Season. Like I will, I will so never work with those bees again. I will no, never. It was toxic. just like unprofessional. Like so the toxic. next time the poppies bloom. You might be able to find some yellow jacket sp- uh, screeners yeah. just sort of like sprinkled yeah. yeah. them and like watch it, watch in. it, and I'll please for your consideration, them. please. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out also to yellow jackets because that's just the kind of show where it's like when it comes to merch, it's like okay, soccer jerseys done, easy, one less thing you have to worry about. You yeah, know what like, I mean? like, like when, easy soccer. Jersey. When you actually care about like making a brand and like you allow your characters to wear clothes that yeah. I can easily make or tell a large group of uh, basically. Uh, uh, partially ha- paid workers to yeah. be able to make something quickly yeah. like that makes my job very easy exactly. and it makes fits happy you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i'm like yeah. obsessed but with like, like jersey yeah. jersey got it you got know it. it's like everyone's wearing a jersey i like. want to say i also love uh the thing that we did on that project which was we made um former soccer star uh current soccer star alex morgan um send out a cryptic sos message on her instagram that was that so cool to that see who would awesome. respond and whose idea was that, that rocked and that was also easy well that was kind of me because i was sort of going through like a uh like a crisis where I was kind of like, mm, SOS, SOS, SOS. And then you said, that's an idea. Yeah. 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 And I also just like, I know you're probably listening and we're like going really fast. We going have a so lot fast. of Adderall on this table next to the charcuterie. Board. I'll be honest. We're going faster than I can think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly are. Probably because you're thinking Tatsu, milk There's bar. a reason I but... haven't talked in a while too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it because you're mad? And it's not because I'm mad. It's because I can't keep up. Here, babe. <laughs> let me sit. Let me roll some salami on some street Adderall and throw it to you. Thank you. So we have a tight schedule. We have a tight schedule. We have a lot to do and can't clock hits at a different time every day. And you're yeah. Probably thinking like, okay, so you guys do experiences, you guys do screenings, you guys do, you have to send out packages, you have to send out, you have to send out merch, you have to do swag bags, you have to send out DVDs. Like, how are you doing this? It's so much, and like my favorite, well, my favorite version is when we get one thing that's an all-in-one. It's an experience, it's a happenstance, it's an occurrence, it's a ghost sighting, it's a, it's a fortune teller, it's, yes. and then you get the swag there, and they walk away posting on their Instagrams, going, "Wow, my life has changed. I saw World War II end." And you know? I also, I'm, I just want to say you brought up ghosts i'm obsessed with your idea for that um that will ferrell ghost movie that came out yes. on um i want to say netflix last yeah. year Scro- the scrooge one scrooge movie yeah. so you had the idea to ebenezer scrooge a bunch of powerful uh hollywood emmy voters yes and you would get three actors to visit them in the night and take them through the sins it of their It was past. so fun. It was kind of like the drive through Stranger Things, but in your house, which I thought yeah. was really, yeah. really like fun. Yeah, and like unsolicited, I think was the part that I was obsessed with. I was like, as soon as you said that, I was like, has to be unsolicited. Well, we were kind of like, there was a big thing in Beverly Hills that people were saying, oh my gosh, there's all these robberies happening at night, but it was actually <laughs> yeah. us yeah. trying yeah. to pre-plan and pre-pro <laughs> these events. And it was really cool because it was like a status marker. Like if you knew that it wasn't a robbery, that you were just getting scrooged for this movie, like you were, you were cool. You could talk like, about it. I did it. I got screwed. Yeah. So like, people were like, like leaving their house unlocked and stuff. Yes. It was great. It was so yeah. cool. People that- were like begging to get screwed so that they could. They feel were. Fun. They were like they would call us and we were like we don't answer the phone for anyone. Yeah. Like we literally don't. No, no literally. we don't have a phone. If I like see my phone ringing, I like want to pass out. No, Absolutely. I hate my phone. Literally, like, don't call. Don't call. Email or text literally. me. Don't yeah. you guys wish? Don't you guys wish that someday you could just like unplug? I like if oh we just my went. God. To Joshua I wish. Tree, I wish. If we just I went wish. to Joshua Tree and like unplugged for like a weekend. Imagine literally. like having a little bit of an unplug break. Oh my god! Literally, I think I would finally fucking stop listening and hearing from Ryan for one goddamn second and. I would get some goddamn sleep. I'm literally writing down that what you said because that sounds like poetry. If you guys actually want to do that, (laughs) if you guys want to do that, I actually I so I go to the Wango Tango every year with um, the guy who invented Chiba. You showed us Wango Tango. Yeah, the guy who invented what? The guy who invented Chiba Chews, which is one of the very first edibles. (laughs) So you guys, I can I can get the guy who invented Chiba Chews to come and we can hang out. Dude, that would be so yeah. Like he's like totally awesome and he's like down for everything. And he I think he actually has a house in Twenty Nine Palms that it has a pool, which is different from. Palms. Palms. It's 29 palms, palms, palms is different palms. than palms. It's different from palms Anything entirely. with palms on it, I love it. Okay, wait. You talked about you talk about the Stranger Things drive through, which yes. I think we should talk about the Ballers drive through. We did. Yeah, oh, let's yeah. talk Baller. about that. When when people just kept throwing basketballs at people's cars. Yes. The immersive experience where we signed you as a sports agent. <laughs> at, at, we signed your car because yeah. everyone as a sports agent driving is crazy. 
COVID yeah. hit us hard, and COVID we were trying to figure hard. it out. We had a guy that would paint a jersey under your car, and then you'd pull into the station to be drafted. <laughs> and then your car was sent to one of, I and think, it, 15 different uh, football stadiums, and that's also inside of a car. But uh -huh. Ballers is also basketball. We didn't know that. Yeah. And a lot of, okay, a lot of FYC events are kind of about tricks. You have to trick yeah. people into paying attention. And that one, like, it's a tough sell because it's kind of like, why would I want to do that? But at the other end of that experience is a 29 cent gallon of gas. Yeah. And I exactly. think people don't know this. Dwayne the Walk Johnson did the drive through, was so impressed with the FYC, he mm -hmm. tipped us 10 grand. It was crazy it was too because we had to, we had to hire someone to play the rock, quote unquote. We had to hire someone and we actually had to get uh, six children together and we tied them together with rope. Yeah. It was awesome. It was such a great idea because the kids were more able to roll. Yeah. They could get from one place to yeah. another much faster than a human And we could. overbooked yeah. that character for sure. Yeah, we definitely yeah. did. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause he had to be in so many places at once. When you think about ballers, what else do you think of? No, I, I, I can with those kids. I actually can with those kids no. every single fucking day. Like, here's I can. the thing. Like, like why do we want to say, like, because a lot of stuff is controversial and some of the biggest stuff you'll never know we were a part of first of all because it was secret yeah let, let's the say it. biggest stuff that'll never happen yeah which is a big deal right so like so yeah. what are things that we want to talk about do we want to lift the veil or do we want to maybe talk about things that could have been okay like, i want to yeah. lift the veil on something that could have been that's oh my huge. gosh a combo meal i'm obsessed i that's need to literally. unplug that's i need to bestie. unplug it's <laughs> my literal to bestie i need to go to tatsu right now i need to have a miso soup because that's literally I my bestie can't i can't i can't i can't you're doing okay. my can't i'm doing your can't because i'm embodying you for a second because this was your fucking idea and i want to give you no credit. stop okay yeah i want to talk about what could have been a big little thing that could have been you know what show i'm talking about big little lies yes oh my gosh we God. were going to get influencers, tastemakers, content creators of all across the platform to perjure themselves to the U.S. government. Yes, yes. they were going to lie. Yeah, they were going to lie. <laughs> they were going to lie. They were going to lie. They were going to lie. They were going to do a big, big lie, but in a tiny voice. <laughs> and we were going to film them, and we were going to put them all, we were going to wiretap their houses, and there were so many people who were so game. We well, wanted to line up over 100 federal things. court cases <laughs> to promote Big Little Lies. And that's what could have been. What, yeah. what, what are some of your favorite things that could have been? Oh, I just want to shout out one more thing about Big Little Lies. We had Elizabeth Warren on record. She was going to tell Congress that she could bench 300 pounds. It was going to be hilarious. <laughs> it was going to be awesome because it was clearly a lie. But that was like a tough thing because she actually kind of wanted to prove that yeah. she could. Yeah. Right. That was making I, me nervous. Yeah, that was Another tough. one, a thing that could have been that I actually really, 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 really resent Ryan for is we had for you, we had that big meeting with all those stalkers. Yes. For right. Jesus. We brought in all those stalkers and we yeah. were like actually going to you. Like, for you. For the yeah, show for you. you. For the show you. Yeah. For you. Yeah. So what we the were going to do with Oh Netflix. my God. This is, okay, this is something that oh, I love when we get on a who's on first moment because every time you me were too. like, we're talking about you and I'd be like what no you like, my thing you. is like I'm to me it's like uh, let's have more who's on first less Jones on third you know what I mean yeah oh my god they're I'm, chunky mac and cheese talk? they're chunky mac and cheese I can I'm, I can I'm, they're I chunky am, mac and cheese I can I, I can cannot. they're chunky mac and cheese sometimes I'll get two bag sometimes I'll just get two baguettes and eat that for all day yes that's all I'll eat for all day sometimes I order one of those like crates of from Jones on third and I just like I eat it over the course of a week yeah. this girl and with then potato when I get salad really really hungry I gnaw on the box well, remember? <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember when we interviewed those stalkers we were gonna release them into Brentwood yes we were yeah. Gonna, it, yeah for that for that show with the well, who's the lead of gossip girl who's Can that I just guy? Say, oh um, Blake Lively? No, 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 the, no, guy, the guy, guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, because I always have to remember, um, no, he's like the magician, but without Teller, and he's wearing a badge. Yes, yes. Penn and Teller, but without, uh, but wearing a badge. That's the easiest way to remember that. Yeah, yeah, because I have to go on a walk. I have to take a walk. My brain has to take a walk. But, okay, some of the stalkers were actually really nice. Can we talk about no, that? No, they were so they were I really can nice. moments. I know, like, and the whole thing got shut down because, like, it just, like, which was wasn't so, safe. Like, it was so stupid. Like, I don't know why Netflix shut that down. Like, I thought it was such a good idea because those guys were actually so nice and so giving. And the packaging of the stalkers was so beautiful. Oh, my and gosh. And they were so beautiful. We wrapped them up in a little box, like a little bow, like a little Barbie doll. And we Gorgeous. said, like, and we could actually have the stalkers follow you in the box so it's safe around the party. Because yes. you would put on a magnetic suit, and then the box had magnets on it, too. It was too. so cute. And so it was sort of like your stalker was, like, gliding Yes, around. it was yeah. so And it was, like, fun. for you consideration. Yes. It was mm -hmm. so... For you yes. consideration. You well, I, was just I, love, I was obsessed with that. <laughs> I was I was literally I was obsessed up. I was my I pussy was, was obsessy with that. Literally oh tie off my veins and stick me up with Susie. <laughs> I was obsessed. I was 
trailing <laughs> Seuss into my ears, through my nose, out my eyeballs, crying blood into my teeth, wiggle the teeth, pull it out, yes. put it in my eyes. Like, I was miso literally soup, miso soup coming out of my nostrils. I was literally so Seuss. I went to college for seven years. I came out of doctor. I was Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I graduated Magna Seuss Laude because yes. I was so obsessed. <laughs> One um, opportunity okay, before before we move on, just like just <laughs> yeah. to just to relive that you think the thing I was so excited about that we missed out was the stalkers dance. Oh, and I was like, we spent we got the girl who did Justin uh, Bieber's uh, music videos to mm -hmm. choreograph a dance with fifty stalkers, and it yeah. was gonna be amazing. But pa I also Tiffany, remember, Paris, Paris something. But I also remember that was that was the <laughs> yeah. season we were spread a little thin, and we were also doing the the for your consideration reality TV uh, awards. Yeah, and that yeah. was also for your consideration dancing with the stars yes. so we got some of the stalkers to do a dance we messed up with, a little bit like wayne brady some of the cast of so what happened yeah, why they ended up messy. shutting it down was because we had a reality star who had a stalker and we accidentally put them in a dance together yes a mess. And, a mess. And, and that's tough but that's before tough. that it was fine it was fine it was fine the one opportunity that i wanted to talk about that kind of my coulda shoulda woulda i wish this moment kind of happened was your blue whale my blue whale. Yeah, my blue whale, because it's not a white whale, because it's a blue whale. Because there aren't white whales. That thought actually like stresses me out. Like they're correct. blue. Yeah, like they're like, blue. I don't understand God, that. God, like, Bessie, everything stresses you out. So the yeah, I'm a mess. Go ahead. The opportunity was basically like it was for Ant-Man Quantumania, and what was going on was I had this great idea for say it. a food say opportunity. It. So what say happened it. was I said, well, let's do one of my favorite snacks as a kiddo is ants on a log. So I spent maybe three days. I just was putting peanut butter on celery and then putting raisins on top. <laughs> And I put them in boxes she and I sent them out. did it for three days, guys. I did it for three days. And, and, and what's so funny about it is uh, it was one of those things where I think one of y'all came over to me and you were like, what are you doing? And then I saw through your eyes what I was doing. It was bad. And I was like, this is so bad. Anton yeah. Alog is not a great thing to get in and the mail. here I am. Here's this silly bitch <laughs> sending literally celery yeah. with peanut butter and, 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 and raisins on top of it to Anne Hathaway. Yeah. She's going to look at That's and, what Marvel wanted. Right. And no, you didn't and have like a fingers. container well. It no, was like. It was like eek. Like it was like. Your fingers look so ugly, bitch. Really? And I, Your fingers look so and I, ugly. And I put these beautiful cashmere scarves in them. They got peanut butter all over the scarves. <laughs> it was such a. I just. But also, that well, was on and then us. there was that day that you were microdosing, and you kind of thought the ants were real for a second, and yeah. then freaked out. And so, that was not a good day to be in the office. Right. No. So Tiffany told me that I was in fact associating like that entire week, and I didn't yeah. even know it. And so like that's like one of the silent killers for us. Like it kills a lot of our opportunities because when we don't realize one of us is dissociating, it it can really yeah. throw us it off. It can really mess up because we're kind of like yes people. <laughs> So, like, They're if like, somebody's yes. dissociating, yes. it can actually throw us in a very dangerous I direction. I remember when so many of you were dissociating because we if want to validate. If two of us or three of us validate. are dissociating, there's only one person that's still with it. Game over. I mean, we hear a lot of, like, okay. <laughs> Guys. Because I, I, I remember I was like, I was like, White Lotus is here with me right now. White Lotus yes. is here with me right now. Yeah. And, like, instead, a lot of people would say, White Lotus isn't a person. It's a hotel. Right. It's a hotel. <laughs> And it's a show, and it's also not in the room. But you guys loved my vibe so much that you were like, "Yes, yes, 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 right. yes." What can this yeah. mean? And that's how there we ended up. Is. We ended up sitting a box of white locusts <laughs> to Viola <laughs> Davis. Because I think that sometimes, 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 um, sometimes typos are like a gift. Like yeah. they were a sent typo yes. in an email yes! is a gift. Like uh, the universe like wanted that typo <laughs> because that was the thing that was yes! supposed to happen right now. Guys, yes. I'm obsessed. I'm soused up with this obsession. Oh my I'm god. Literally, our Johnny and Vinny meatballs are here. Stregonona because I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm a Stregonona. I'm making a bunch of Seuss meatballs. Saucy, saucy, obsessy, obsessy. I'm saucy bacon right now. I am the su the daughter of Kevin Bacon. I'm so soused up. I'm literally smiling because I'm in the movie Smile because I'm saucy bacon. Soused about this. Ah, scary. That movie was scary. Do you guys remember when I dissociated so hard during the Queen Charlotte Bridgerton spinoff, FYC? Oh, yes. my God. Yeah. That I forgot I was in a car and I ended up being in the middle of a river. That was really scary. <laughs> find the river in LA. Find it. Literally <laughs> find it. Literally find it. I, I, like, can't. I, I can't. Know I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, I know where it is, but I don't know where it is. Can I just say, <laughs> every Bridgerton FYC event has ruined not just our lives, Absolutely. But, but the, the lives, lives of our of families. everyone in the county. The lives oh of our families. Oh my gosh, The lives hard. of every violinist I've ever met in my life. Every single All person. these classical music people who had to learn Ariana Grande at the drop of a hat. They are plagues on the industry. They're plagues. It's They're hard. Plagues. And you know what? I cannot find a flutist, a flautist, who hasn't blocked me. And the no. people that the people that own these dresses we have to use, they are <laughs> their their breath is just chocolate. 
It just they've been eating so much it's, chocolate. It's so much chocolate, it smells gross. It's <laughs> it's chocolate gone bad. And you know what? Shonda <laughs> will never say will never say no. 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 Shonda no. notoriously a yes woman, Shonda Rhimes. She, like, but it makes us keep going. Mm-hmm. And like that's why like we need people who will like kind of slow down. Well, at some that's point. the thing. It's like uh, when when we are there, it literally feels like I'm in war and I'm in the trenches and these are my people and these yeah. people like yes. these are closer than my brothers, my sisters, my families, my friends. They are like they we have a bond, you know, when yes. we're in the trenches like that, we have a yeah. bond that's bigger than anything. I mean, yes. those Bridgerton balls, I think really put FYC events on yeah, the map for, I mean we have yes. Miss Maisel and Bridgerton era. Balls no for you know? sure I think it put for the current era I think it put FYC companies like us on the map but I don't think people realize it it made all four of us have a manic episode that was united in sync it was, but it was kind of beautiful in the way that we synced up yeah like, all of it our was delusions like sort of like happened at the same time it's like meeting your friends in a dream like it was like, <laughs> like actually kind of beautiful exactly. yeah but, like but it was, was lucid dreaming. it was yes. scary yes. it was scary for all our bank accounts well it was crazy because yeah. it was the kind of this manic thing uh, what we call in the industry a quad manic where Dude, there's quad manic. where there's four manic episodes happening all at once in the same unison that all they can see is each other and we were actually the first ones to go why don't we just stop only sending people DVDs of the thing? Why don't we have a ball of Bridgerton? Yes. You know? like that's, Why don't we send a, a ball and a thumb drive? That's all we need. And then we were, and then it's done. And then <laughs> we're Cause, good. Because if you put it in a textbook, if someone were to make a textbook of the FYC like history, how does it go from sending DVDs to people's homes to a ball? Yes. <laughs> how? Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I find so <laughs> genius about where the FYC industry is at right now. Because they used to send DVDs, right? Worthless. It done. Environmentally, not safe. Garbage. No. But what we still do is send out a case where the DVD would have been in yes. and then write a code in it. And yes. we got to make sure it's heavy. You know why? Because people love packaging and I've always oh, said they that. they love metal. When they open something that's metal and it's for a movie. They love to hold something in their It's hands. like monkeys learning tools. Yes. They shake it, they shake it, they shake it, and they love it. And you know what WGA members really want to read? The screenplay for Bridgerton. Yes. <laughs> Fully. You know what they really word. want to read? <laughs> they do. And I saw once I was on a jog. I was on a jog. No, What? You were on a jog. When? I was. I was. I'm going through Lying a breakup. I've been doing crazy things. Okay, I'm, go- I'm going through a breakup for you. I'm on your I jogging. Era. Do you love it okay. for me? Do you love it for me? I'm I walking. I'm walking off that awful fucking man. So I was. I was going on a jog, jog walk, and I. I walked by someone's recycling bin that was outside of their garage, and I saw all their FYC package boxes, mm-hmm. and I went, "Look how cool that is! They're collecting them." Yes, and they, nice. it was next to their their recycling bin. What a and great place to put that's a, a great collection because they don't biodegrade at all. Too. No, so no. And oh my I, god, yeah. Someone was like, "Oh no, they're throwing them away," and I was like, "No, no, 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 no. no they're no, no, collecting no. them." One thing I simply must say it's a it's an important rule we all have, and I think it's important for us to talk about it here. It's that we have a big sign in our in our in our bullpen, right? Mm-hmm. It's a good rule. We it's have a big, big sign. sign, okay, and yeah. it's all about uh, cool. Versus doable. Yes. What is doable is not always cool. What is cool is it's not, not always, always doable. doable. Right. And so, we kind of, we sometimes call it what the perfect thing is coolable. It's got to be coolable. It's got to so be coolable. We have to be very careful because we get so excited. We obviously yes each other, and we get so excited about an idea, and we say, "Is this is very 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 cool? Is it doable?" And mm-hmm. we always sometimes figure out that it's impossible to do. Yes. And then sometimes we go, "This is very 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 doable." Is it cool? Yes. Sometimes we realize it is lame as shit. So yeah. Be very careful. And sometimes it's very like, uh-oh. Yeah. Because we are so much cooler than the idea that sometimes. Like, yeah. like right. it was very doable for us to do a man called, called Otto, just have a bunch of benches and people just sit on a bench. Exactly. That's and a we very have, doable thing. And we got everyone, thing. we... we employed the U.S. Census, and we found every man named Otto within the county. And, and we, we sent him a noose. Line up. And we sent him a noose. <laughs> we sent him a noose. Like in the first 20 minutes of a man called Otto, when Tom Hanks almost kills himself with a noose, we sent every man called Otto a noose. So this and then was, the fun and I ones, think that- and then the ones with 10K or more we, uh, <laughs> followers, we would bring them to a bench, and we would hang the nooses out publicly for people to see. And so this was our and doable, but choice. not cool. This was our doable, <laughs> but not cool But I can do this in a heartbeat. Honestly, because <laughs> we can do this. We did, I think we did that in 30 seconds, and I want the listeners to know, I think we did that when we got back from a trip from the Hamptons. Like, we did that, I think, in an hour on a Monday. Oh, it was, my God. Every time home. I'm not at the Hamptons, I'm freaking out. You are literally it's freaking absolutely, out. Absolutely, literally. you got to stop picking your nails when off. When you're not at the Hamptons, <laughs> when you're not in the Hamptons. I don't want them anymore. <laughs> 
When you're not at the Hamptons, you're pissing your ankles and you're biting your nails. Why are we the same person? <laughs> you're literally my best fucking friend. Okay, um, I want to talk about something that is um, what people maybe most traditionally think of if you live in Los Angeles about FYC. I and die. And that is, of course. I die. Yeah, you're already dying. You already know <laughs> what I'm going to say. You're going to throw up when you hear it. FYC billboards. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, for your FYC, UCB, FYC, this thing, FYC, this you know. This thing, FYC, FYC, Some freaking pull quote, pull quote, pull my ass out of my fucking mouth. Yeah, Truly. I mean, I feel because like. that's what we're doing. We're pulling yes. people's brains yeah. out of their head and into their hearts, back out their mouth, through their butt, and into their eyeballs so that they can go, I think I want to vote for that. Josh day. Brolin yeah. is inspired. No fucking shit. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and we're pulling those quotes, babe. I, I should. I do feel like, like, I, I know this is like annoying, but like, it's us in the office, and then there's Greg, who um, like, does those posters. But Greg we pull the quotes. Greg is so funny, though. Yeah. Greg is so, so funny. So, Greg is just so like funny. a normal guy. Well, the crazy thing is, is like, I love those posters because they don't work. I'm almost positive, like, <laughs> people driving around looking up at a poster uh, on a street lamp. It's like, why are what people just don't understand? See, like, LA see these and go, what the something... heck are these about? I have something so insane to say. It's gonna blow your mind. What? It's gonna blow your fucking mind. Tell well, me. get your because hands out of your mouth and I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your hands out of your mouth. Stop trying to gnaw on your fingers and and tell us. It's gonna blow your mind. In the year 2023, this is real. You can look it up. The most effective medium of advertisement is still by a mile billboards. Yes. No, no. But what about look it. it up? But what about packages? But what about packages? In real life, for having, FYC, I for more, FYC. I am more lucid than I've ever been in my life. For FYC. You're having a manic episode, no, aren't you? No, no. I just saw you <laughs> no. put Swiss cheese with Adderall inside of it in your mouth. I believe okay, her. And I believe her. And I'm pulling it out. I believe I believe the shit out of her right now. You do? Because yes. my dad is a scientist. Yes. And a I scientist or a Scientologist? No, your dad is the inspiration for the Coldplay song, The <laughs> why Scientist. Why can't he be both? And why no, can't there's he a be difference. that too? There's a difference. Your dad is the inspiration behind the Coldplay <laughs> My dad is many, many things, but we're not here to talk about my dad. We're here to talk about what makes a good FYC billboard. Yeah. yeah. What to you guys yeah. makes we usually the write them FYC for me, We usually write them, and Greg does all like the manufacturing of for, the billboard or whatever. And I will and say, Greg is just in the corner, and he yeah. like is yeah. like really toxic and quiet. Um, he's so well, toxic. My, and so my quiet. favorite one. I feel like he's so toxic. And I he's can't so with Greg. Quiet. I literally can't. My favorite type no. of FYC poster is one that where the top comes up a little bit above the the rails of the poster. Let me do a build. Yes, Let me do a build. So so much build. more expensive. I love a build. So it's much like, more expensive. whoa, Jamie Foxx's head is two inches above the line yes, of this poster. Or like a little bit of a flame. I yes. Love I love a close-up and one word quote. Moving. And it's just a, just a giant uh, picture so of, of yes. Margot Martin. You wrote Dale. that. You wrote oh, that. Oh, I fucking love that. And I did write that. And I put it's that on a shirt. I, yeah. love, I love the little jokes that they do for the comedy FYC billboards where they go, feeling pretty considery right now. Yeah, yes, I love that. that's for the late good. night shows. For the I don't understand shows. the late night shows. I think they talk too fast. But other than that, I love and the them. guests. It's like, where are we? Yes. Yeah, it's like, where are we? Where it's like are you're talking we? too fast, and where are we? Like, a studio is or the hell? Guest, like, is the guest uh, hired? <laughs> when I watch a Jimmy Kimmel, I'm like, literally, like, where are we? I like it's because they're talking so slow to me. It's like time is stopping. I'm also like, where in LA is that skyline, yeah. and how far yeah. above the sky are you? Like, yes. And who's lighting the sky? Yeah. And can we God? make this? And why can't they shoot it in a vertical format? Yes. Right. right. Oh, I think that all the time. I think and that I can't all retweet the it. Time. It's crazy. Why can't they tweet that show? They have to tweet it. I've been telling them. <laughs> <laughs> have you been telling them? I have been literally telling them. Because you're sleeping not. with a PA on one of those I'm shows. I'm sleeping right? with a PA, and I tell him, babe, you have to fix this show. <laughs> you guys are you one of my best to fix You this guys. Show. You guys are like, my best friends. Do you guys think you guys are my guys, best friends? Guys, truly, like when I die, you guys need to spread my ashes in your houses because I'm I'm gonna miss you. I'll, already I'll done. I'll literally spread it in my shots. Do you guys think? Already done. Do you guys think our work? <laughs> and that's innovation, and we should yes, do that. Yes, it's already done. You already we have my ashes. That. I've been collecting a little bit of each of you, like hairs, follicles, all that stuff, and burning them and spreading around my house. Yeah, you I don't have you to say that. burn your entire body for it to be ashes. You no, don't have to do ashes a little but bit listen, you know why? Dude, I am you know why you do that? Wait, hold on to that for true blood wait can i tell you something that's why we don't fight that's why we don't fight because your because your follicles we, are around my house we are so connected that's why yes. we don't fight yes do you guys think our work that we do for fyc is so good because we also constantly hang out socially yes i, must I think it. so well it it's weird if it. anybody else comes they i don't like when they talk so i like when they're quiet like greg it's like <laughs> <laughs> i know 
know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's I like know. it's like they kind of come in and they start talking. I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't get it. It's like us. Like we have all these inside jokes. I hate it, we have I hate it when things. one of you guys bring a partner around and you're like, so tell. They're like, so tell me about you. And I'm like, these bitches already know everything about me. I'm not literally about to like, like we're, what not, do you we're mean? not waiting time, yeah, wasting yeah, yeah. time. Like, I can't. I can't. You need to catch up. I cannot. No, it's like literally cannot. Oh my gosh! Wait, do you guys see this email? Do you guys see this oh email God, right wait, now? Wait, what? Are you guys seeing this? Yeah, I'm Holy seeing this. Shit. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is huge. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see it? Yeah, yeah. I see oh it. Oh my God. Yeah. I see it. Do you want to talk about what it is? Yeah, you talk about it. Yeah, so well, why don't we you? Can talk. <laughs> do you want us to say what it is? Oh, you, you, you say, say it. it you say it. The Last of Us is doing a movie. Yes, The Last of Us is doing a movie and they need us to promote it for, for their consideration. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Magic mushrooms in the mouth of every influencer. They all take a bite at the same time. Then they go live. That's really fun. If we change oh. the magic mar- mushrooms, maybe we can actually develop the parasite in in uh, yes, Cordycept, in Last of Us. Cordycept, Cordycept. This is why I'm obsessed with you. Because like, if they actually become dark and demony, that'll be actually really hit. That'll because it'll be like viral. So I can talk to Jamie Oliver, viral. the Naked Chef, and he can do a promotion with us where he cooks mushrooms. Yes. And then he yeah. eats them and he gets all fucked up because he's done with his career anyways. He's kind of like, let me know if there's anything I can kill myself on. Okay, so guys, we, <laughs> we, this is actually really good for the listeners. This is really good for the listeners because we have a. Class that's a conundrum. I haven't seen it. And this is what happens. You don't yes. need to see it. So this is what happens. We, I blind make shit up. Yes, and okay. go for it. Go this for is it. when you channel us. That's the beautiful. Let's see blind it. Let's make see shit it. up. Ready? What if the packaging is... Pink. Yes, yes, that goes against yes. everything the show is. That goes is. against yeah. everything. It'll be so unexpected. That goes against everything. I can't. Everything I can't. About it. And Nothing you know that place. Maybe pink. we could have a couple pop ups. Like I'm thinking a live event experience where like we have you know that place. What's it called? Hugo's Tacos. You showed yeah. me Hugo's Tacos. Oh yeah, you guys have to come. We is can have Hugo's indie? Tacos and then like this, people yeah. eat that and then actually we get a couple crazy people to chase you through the event and you ha- you have guns or something like that and you have to hunt them. And here's yes. what I'm thinking. And here's what I'm thinking. Off of that, we get. Really good ants, like famous ants, like red ants, fire ants, black ants, small ants, big ants, farmer ants. All the famous ants. ants. All the famous (laughs) ants. And we find actual cordyceps because those are a real thing. They go into your brain and they drive you up. That's what happens to me when I go to the Century City Mall. Amazing. And they... Um, and we give cordyceps to the ants. We watch them yeah. fly all the way to the top, but we bioengineer the cordyceps so that they can hold a little banner that says, FYC, the last yes, of us. That's oh amazing. My God. Yes. I know my, my roommate was a bioengineer at USC, so let me let me call her. Okay, what great. if we what if we put stickers in the box? Oh my gosh. Yes. You're so uh, you far are on you're it. Genius, what kind of stickers? Genius, genius. Um maybe stickers of Barney. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. And so, we again. get them in the hands of every influencer taste maker, content creator. Yes. And yes, yes, I love it. Like because <laughs> In that scene, they have that thing where like people are at school. So we could turn Griffith Park into a school. We could turn Griffith Park into the zone where you have to go to be protected, and you have to yes. choose if you want to live in this federalese place that's run by a bad regime, or 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 you're outside of Griffith Park and you're being hunted, hunted. We will let a bunch of mountain lions and people with crazy, yes! and they'll hunt you in Griffith Park, oh. and it'll be a whole hey, immersive hey, hey, thing. Hey, hey, sorry to interrupt. This can't o'clock. I, got, guys, uh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I, can't I can't. Me so. I can't. Can I need we all me so agree that Queen Elizabeth is in the room right now and she's talking to me? I've been talking to her only the whole time. <laughs> Where's my rosé? Where's my rosé? I can't. Oh my God, she can't. <laughs> this has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist answering the question. Now that's why we call it show business. Good night. Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colby, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AO, 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 A are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood. <laughs>